So one of the first bits of advice I got as a new concierge was to find a way to grant every request. Never say no. Find a way to make even the strange requests happen. Yes, exactly. Never say no. And you had them as well, I'm sure. Of course, of course. What, what's your favorite? Um, there's one story that always comes to mind whenever people ask me a similar question like that, and I just call it the scavenger hunt, because I'm not really sure what else to call it, but it was six distinct gifts that this one person wanted, and of course, within a matter of hours, and each one had multiple components, and I'm guessing that they were kind of inside jokes, because each one had little different components, like, for example, the money tree. I had to find a cherry blossom tree, a game of Monopoly, take the money out, tie it to the tree, and there was the money tree. There was children's games, there were souvenirs, there were all kinds of things in there, and these little personalized cards that went with each. So, of course, don't say no. And I recruited a concierge to help me, and we ran around town going from store to store, and I swear we were in the taxi on our way to Gibson's where they needed to be delivered by 4.55, and they wanted them at 5 o'clock, and we just did it. That's a concierge. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm sure you have a story, too. I have lots of stories. But I think my all-time favorite, was my very first concierge position was at the Hilton Towers. And one day there was a very distinguished gentleman standing in front of my desk asking whether you needed a blood test to get married and get a marriage license in Illinois. Okay. I didn't know, but I said, of course, I would find out. And it turned out you do not. And uh, he said, well, we're going to do it while we're here help. We put a wedding together in two days. I got on the phone and found a minister who had come to the hotel and when the minister called and spoke with the groom, it turned out they were distantly related. Interesting. They were both <laughs> directly descended from Robert E. Lee and both had Lee as their middle name. That's very weird. Very weird, but even weirder. The bride was there as, his, as the groom's guest. She was not an attendee of the convention, so she didn't really know anybody else. So she came to my desk and very sheepishly asked if I would stand up for her. So she wanted you to be wedding planner and bridesmaid, groomsman? Well, I don't know what you call it, but her, she actually said, I can't wait to show my girlfriends back home photographs of my bridesmaid. Wow. And so they just got married and you helped them and, and they ran off together? And we still exchange Christmas cards every year. Oh, that is very sweet. Absolutely. It all comes from never saying no. Yeah, exactly.